Hi there, and this is Hoo-Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. This is one of those non-Premier League weekends as the national sides will be involved with some very important international friendlies. Yeah, right. But let's recap the weekend that was in the Premier League where the top sides did not put up convincing performances, while clubs that have spent a lot less during the transfer window seem to be reaping the benefits. First up, a look at the table and we will start with the bottom half. Blackman did put up a commendable performance against Chelsea, losing by only one goal, proving that they still can't buy a win. And along with Wigan, looks set to be carrying the weight of the Premier League for a couple of more weeks. Bolton's 5-0 drubbing of Stoke sadly still keeps them in the relegation zone, but are only one point away from Everton, Fulham and Sunderland. Wolves' victory over Wigan gave them their first win in seven and lift them to momentary safety, while Stoke's humiliating defeat and Rangers' unfortunate loss to Man City keep them in 12th and 11th. To the top half, City still have that 5-point lead over United but neither had a convincing performance with only slim wins. Same can be said about Chelsea. Newcastle and Spurs kept pace with the regular big boys but they too were lucky to get all three points. Arsenal look to be back to their own self with their fourth win in a row. But my oh my, what's happening to Liverpool? Third consecutive draw at home and the fans ain't happy. Yep, the biggest complaint, the wasted talent they spent nearly £100 million for. And the second biggest complaint, fans who are complaining about those who are complaining. Well, let's just peek at their Facebook page. To a post of uh, Stuart Downing's post-match comments saying that they will work on improving, uh, Erkam believes that this LFC squad isn't even good enough to win the championship, while Ade Dayo drives the point through that Carroll and the summer spendings are a race of money. And taking Ade Dayo to task is Jane Jones. Well, as my dad used to say, it takes one to know one, Jane. We'll leave the squabbling liverbirds for the time being and get into our 60-second segment of what we know from the weekend that was in the Premier League. Ready, set, let's go. We can look to be in a heap of trouble. Records show that no club with eight consecutive losses has survived relegation. But then again, can manager Roberto Martinez survive the sack? That's anybody's guess. Next, Newcastle and Tottenham may be doing extremely well, but they look to be a one-half team. They either lead in the first half and sit back for the second 45, or put in an inspired second half performance to claim a win or a draw after a lackluster first half. And for a few Spurs players, they are showing signs of being cocky and arrogant. Me, no, like. And finally, regardless of what the other teams can do to help your league position, Newcastle will sacrifice that just to see their first rivals lose. Sunderland, and you'll be hoping for Sunderland to do you guys a favour. You think Bruce, uh, Steve Bruce would? No way, I don't care. Sunderland needs to lose. <laughs> Newcastle fans back in England would be proud of the Malaysian Toon Army. And that's 60 seconds up, which also means it's time for me to wrap up this edition of Hoha Sports. Until tomorrow, from the team, it's bye for now.